welcome to Easter Road for this afternoon of a fascinating fixture in the SWPL as Hibernian host Hearts in the Edinburgh Derby with the Capital Cup at stake but more importantly right now three points as this pair vie for fourth spot Hibs make four changes from the cup victory over Dundee United with hat-trick hero Ailey Adams having to settle for a place in the bench. Katie Fain returns in goal with Lauren Doran Barr, Shannon Leishman and Rosie Livingston also in. Hearts make just one change from the draw with Glasgow City a couple of weeks back as the experienced former high beat Emma Brownlee replaces Jenna Penman at right back. And the uh, whistle is gone as it does end up in the back of the net, but the referee's seen an infringement in there otherwise. Hearts could have had a, a first minute opener. He's blew really early, so he's obviously seen something. I don't think our cameras have, have quite picked it up. I think it was maybe Danny Findlay there, uh, maybe getting a, a shirt pool or something, but he certainly blew his whistle really early there. Here's an opportunity though for Brownlee after the mistake from Eddie. Brownlee goes for the far post and she's a couple of yards wide. That is uh, by some distance the best chance of the game so far. It's slack play from Leah Eddie, doesn't deal with the, the ball forward and yeah, Emma's just tried to curl it in at the back post and it's not came off for her. But it's warning signs there for Hibs. Here's Livingston in a good position. Cuts in away from Waldy. Parker Smith has spilled it. And there's the opening goal. And it's Jorian Bochum in the right place at the right time to open the scoring for Hibernian. It fell to her so kindly. And she knocks it into the back of the net for a ninth goal of the season. And Hibernian are in front. Naomi Pill with a corner kick. Bochum's there. It's in, Bochum's got a second in the space of a matter of minutes. Julian Bochum has got two goals to put Hibernian in command. Well, what a few moments that has been for Julian Bochum. Two goals within three minutes. Hearts need to, to try and make an impact on this Hibs back line soon. Here's Handley, she'll catch that. Up against Doran Barr here, on to the right foot, it's a dangerous ball, where's that going to end up? In the back of the net is where it's going to end up. And Hearts do have one back through Lockwood. She could hardly have had a simpler task than to nod that over the line from Bailey, a foot out. And the deflection to get over the keeper and straight onto her forehead. And it's 2-1. It's a good looking ball, Tims can't get there. Hearts applying the pressure as they look for a leveller. It's Handley who created the first Hearts goal. But Tim's head's off target as Handley almost provides a second assist. But Tim's couldn't keep the header on target. And it's still 2-1 with two minutes. First stop is time to play. I'd have thought now would be the time to go to the corner flag as it, as it breaks the way of Tegan Bowie. She's got other ideas as well, driving in and off the crossbar. Well, it was audacious if she was going for a goal. Might well have just been a cross that almost got lucky either way. They just need to keep hearts at bay, but it's a chance here for Grant. She goes for goal and drags the shot. Oh, that was the chance surely for Kira Grant and hearts. She's just flicked it away from McGregor and... You're just expecting her to hit the target from there and she's just dragged her shot wide which is bitterly disappointing for Hearts and hopefully that's enough to let Hibs see the game out. Tim's out to Hanley, the Hibs fans want the full time whistle. That's a good ball in, a header comes in, a brilliant save from Katie Frayne. It's tremendous goalkeeping in the end from Frayne to keep that from crossing the goal line. It's Hibernian who ultimately hold on for the three points. Great win for us today, I thought um, every single player put uh, the, every effort they could give into that game. Um, yep, I, I thought 2-0, we obviously got ourselves in a great position, we've defended well, resolute, 
um, showed loads of character and, and uh, it's, a, it's a massive win for us. Being able to score two goals against uh, a good opponent at Easter Road in front of 5,000 plus fans, I mean you can't really describe the feeling other than being amazing and coming out with those three points is really important for us. We start reacting when we go to nil up, down and as I say it's late. Probably five minutes more and we score but um, because we were all the time yeah. in the box but you have to do the things before.